Hello, my name is Margie Rodebaugh and I'm the Director of Horticulture and Education at Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens. Today I want to tell you a little bit about Phipps Top 10 Sustainable Plant Program. Each year we choose 10 plants that will do well in area gardens and that are easy to grow. And these plants are plants that uh, the staff at Phipps has had experience growing and know that they'll be successful for you. But by sustainable we mean that they are non-invasive, um, they do not have insect or disease problems, Problems. They don't require additional water or fertilizer once they're established and they will be successful if they're in the right location. So each year we work with area nurseries to make our, their customers aware of the plants and have them available for their customers. This year a few of the plants I really like, we have buttonbush is on the list, cephalanthus, occidentalis, and that is a plant that will grow in wet soils and has really unique flowers. They look like little white pin cushions and it will attract butterflies and bees. So it's a good addition to the landscape and for attracting pollinators. Um, another plant I really like this year is the butterfly weed, Asclepias tuberosa. And that's a native plant that also of course attracts butterflies. That plant will do well in dry, poor soils, so a good plant for a different location. Um, and then a third plant that is one of my favorites is Virginia bluebells, Mertensia virginica. And that is a plant that's called a spring ephemeral, which basically means it will bloom in the spring and then the foliage will die down over the summer and then it will appear again the next year. So it's a perennial and it has beautiful blue flowers in the spring and can form a mass uh, of a ground cover. Um, so these are all plants that you should be successful growing. And now you know a little bit more about sustainable plants.